Online dating causes anxiety in modern women and men. Interesting facts about online dating. Did you know that 51% of people on online dating sites are already in a relationship? And online couples are more likely to break up between three and five months. And you might notice some familiar faces on different sites. This is because 9% of people are on three different dating sites at a time. Also, 10% of people on online dating sites quit in the first three months because it can be kind of frustrating. And 48% of online relationships end over an email or a text message. Wow, that is sad. Oh, you dumped your trash broad. Send. Oh my God, wow, that's... Wow. Wow, human beings are very horrible to each other. And 64% of online users say that shared interest is the most important factor to them. There's also over 7,000 online dating sites. So pick a few and jump in. Okay, bye. Wow, she seems very excited about online dating. Well, she's probably getting a lot, that's why. Putting a big smile on her face. Okay, but I hope you're doing well. Hope you're focused and on your square. So before we delve into these TikToks about the problems with online dating, before we get into that, I have an interesting article I want to show you first. Briefly, from Varsity dot co dot uk cambridge uk obviously so very upper class raunchy risks and rewards deputy science editor niev niev bridges apologies explores the psychology behind our relationship with tinder considering why getting down and dirty in the digital world may not be as easy as it seems interesting and we have an image here of a woman breaking out of handcuffs so it's a very symbolic image of freedom or one of a woman that's just broken out of prison <laughs> As a young person today, it's not uncommon to have partaken in Tinder's high-spirited matchmaking experiment, to be uncharacteristically charmed by its pleasant jingles and ever jovial, you've got a match. Wow, this article is very hammy, it's, but then again, it is varsity. Cambridge, UK. So it's upper class waffling, indeed. You've got a match, especially in the context of unsolicited periods of sexual dormancy. What? Oh my God, sexual dormancy, what a word. Well, that's quite heavy and morbid, flipping hell. It's like if you're a man going through a dry spell, well, it would be a dry spell because you're not getting your knob, but you know what, let's just, you know what I mean? If you're a man going through a dry spell, it means you're sexually dormant, oh my God. And if you're a woman not getting any, it means as a woman, you're sexually dormant. And she could say, oh, no, I'm not. No, but your vag is. It's not funny. Oh my God, really? Wow. Sexual dormancy ushered in by the pandemic. These brief moments of digital flattery promise to counter feelings of isolation and inadequacy. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's so sweet. It's unsurprising then that in March 2020, Tinder boasted a record-breaking three billion swipes in a single day. Wow, that's more self-swiping than single women in isolation. That's a joke. It's a, jo it's a joke. <laughs> Yet this gamified experience hides a sinister format that turns dating into addictive cycles of risk and reward. But how daunting, the sexual dormancy. Wow, that some people suffer with. Thus, they go online on these many websites to fill a certain need. But in some way, it really messes up a lot of human beings. Yeah, it really does. You know, I think it really drives some people crazy. I think, it, I think it really does. I think it really does. Seriously. Yeah. Wait enough waffling. Let's begin. So in case anyone was wanting to know what it's like to online date when you're 30, let's see. Um, last Thursday night, I stayed up till one o'clock in the morning, like a junior high school girl talking to a 25 year old. Um, that didn't work out. I don't know that I needed to clarify that, but yeah, definitely, definitely did not. Um, yesterday went on a date with a 33 year old and we both mutually decided, Hey, this was like fun, but I'm just not interested. Cool. Um, today I matched with a guy and then realized he's 42. Um, actually the conversation so far has been going really well. So I'm glad I accidentally did that one. Here we observe in the wild what is commonly known as a thornback modern woman. She's a woman of the age of 30, 30 plus who surfs online dating like the sea fish that she is hoping to find love. Let's continue to watch. Oh, last night I realized that someone I matched with was actually my anesthesiologist when I had my sinus surgery. And he was like, I thought you looked familiar. So that's really cool. Well, at least it wasn't your gynecologist. At least then you'd know why he may ignore you. Damn. <laughs> seriously, seriously. <laughs> I didn't need to do that one, but let's carry on. Familiar, I told a guy, hey, you look really familiar. Have we met before? And he goes, yeah, you took my virginity. I did not take this man's virginity, so, you know. <laughs> wow, it's a real adventure. She seems kind of pissed. I don't know why. It's a modern woman, so it's difficult to tell. So I'm back from my 
first Tinder date ever. Okay, a bit more centering in this one. Some of you will remember this chick from my previous video. The one that said she's hot anyway. So she's always going to get men because she's hot. Because first of all, I'm hot. Secondly. Also said her grandma was a bit of a garden tool. And I have her genes. So she's got that in her genes as well. So proper garden tool. Yeah. Okay. And I'm censoring her because she's wearing a bathing costume. Well, the half that I can see. But obviously, you know, YouTube and stuff. So I'm just going to censor her anyway, just to be sure. But she seems very happy. Let's find out why. What an experience. Um, would like to thank my mom. Here. Would like to thank my mom for these great jeans. I guess. I also just decided to change because um, it's way too hot and he, he wanted to go down to the river. I also don't know why I'm still holding this. But um, he went down to the river. And I got soaked, and um, he, has, he he brought his dog, and he definitely pushed me under the water, which I did not appreciate, but it's fine. Um, this man, though, took a picture of the two of us together, which I thought was kind of sus, because it's a first date or whatever. But and I asked him, what is this for? He said, for the memories. The way you boast about your jeans and that you're hot and that your grandma was getting loads of D even before she died. You know, this was more than a date. It was a hookup, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Boy. Boy, what you talking about? What memories? Who says I won't remember this? Oh no, he was cute. <laughs> it was fine. I, I had fun, I guess. Your friends and relationships will always be like, don't worry, you'll find the one eventually. But what if I don't? Do, 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 do. Insert dramatic music. You just did that yourself. That, that, wow. I'm probably going to clip that. Do, 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 do. I'm probably going to clip that to use it again. Do, 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 do. But, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, if I was on a first date with this woman and she did that, do, do, do. I'd be like, you know, are you trying to be funny or is that, are you just weird? Are you just weird? What? I don't know. What if I don't though? I can't remember what she said. She just freaked me out by that weird music thing, but let's carry on. She's crazy. Do, do, do. Wow, you met your boyfriend on a dating app? That's nice. Yeah, I met mine the traditional way. My dad sold me to him for like three goats and a bag of beans. That was too expensive. I think you're overpriced. Oh my God. So I'm on Bumble, and if you match with someone, you have the option to either message them anything you want, or you can send them a randomized question. So I chose that option. And the question it sent the guy was, what is something you've done that you would never do again? So I got a notification that he replied, and it said that I couldn't see his answer until I answered the question as well. I answered the question, and then it revealed his answer. Let's just say they're a little bit different. What's something you've done and will never do again? He said, like a normal human being, forgive someone that has cheated on me. Bullshit. And she replied, like the strange modern woman she is, taken a laxative and then went to work. Wow. Talk about a shitty conversation. I'm not good at dating. And you know what the sad thing is? It's like more and more women are becoming awkward and just funny to date anyway. It's not even a sense of the whole feminism thing. It's a lot of modern women have become, I don't know what's wrong. Do, do, do. I do know because I make a lot of videos about it, but it's like, damn. It's like, whoa. Uh, run. Run, even if you don't want to, but it's like, yo, I, I'm gonna run from you. I just feel like I have to. You're like, yo, you're weird. Let's carry on. Okay, so I just have a question for all of my straight females out there. So if you're not straight and you're not a female, just keep scrolling because you probably won't understand how I feel. Okay, bitch, now that they're gone, let me ask you something real. Do you ever have the intense desire to want to fuck a bitch? Obviously, she's talking to other women here, which as a man watching, it's like, okay, interesting, intriguing. Oh, let's find out. But as a man, having the wanton, intense desire to fuck a bitch. Hmm. I mean, that's innate. I mean, it's as a man. To want to fuck a bitch. That's natural. Like, I'm straight. I'm straight. I got a boyfriend. You know, I'm in a happy ass relationship. But sometimes I see this boring ass bitch. And I'm like, like, like. How did you, like, like, fuck, like, she wants the pussy pussy. You know, as a man, when you see a fine, fine ass bitch. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, damn. She looks bad for me. She looks bad for me. This may not turn out well, but yeah, my knob's talking right now. My penis is talking, so let's see where it takes me. And that's how men get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah. That's why my man wants to fuck you. This woman's very interesting. She's very interesting, isn't she? Oh. Interesting facts about online dating. 
Okay, here we go again. This very excitable woman who's very excited about online dating. I wonder why. I wonder why. Prior to physically meeting someone, 60% of people look them up on social media. And 25% of online users are talking between four and five people at the exact same time. Yeah, everyone's talking to multiple people at once. So, I mean, in some weird way, if you're not talking to multiple people, you're kind of not playing the game properly. Hence the addictive highs and lows of online dating. To want to fuck a bitch. To better their odds. And 47% of people have or know someone who has fallen in love while online dating. And 34% of people in online dating have been catfished. Yeah, that one's not surprising. As a man, part of dating is you're going to be catfished by women. You know, you don't know how the flipping look in these pictures, these filtered, edited pictures with altered positionings. They're pushing their boobs or their butt out or both at the same time. They've angled the camera to hide their fat and just show their curves. Really? As a man, we're catfished constantly. Constantly. Which just means someone faked their identity. And 20% of online dating users pay $51 for each site. What? I feel like it's a waste of money. And 20% of people between the ages of 18 and 24 use online dating sites to boost their self-esteem. Okay, bye. If you are a woman and you are on any dating app, please listen up. Have you ever been on a date, brought something up and realized that you just brought up a fact that is about a completely different person than the person you're on a date with? Because that happened to me. I was on a date and I said, oh, you're a tequila guy, right? And he just looks at me and goes, no. And I realized, oh my God, like this was a completely different person that I was thinking of. And it made the whole rest of the date super, super awkward. It was in that moment I realized I need a way to keep track of all of these people who I'm going out with. Wow. Yeah. So modern people, men and women, but obviously, you know, no one cares about when men do it because we're men. So... <laughs> It's natural, but many modern women are losing track of the amount of knob they're trying to juggle in their hands, mouths, who knows? But it's like, wow, interesting. That's crazy. Enter the roster. So I also have a name and She's got, picture. oh my God, she's got a, she's got a roster. Really? Really? I said roster, not raster. Really? Oh my, wow. Yeah, that's, wow. And look at the detail. Really? Who has time for this? Well, obviously, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. This is kind of impressive. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of impressed as well. I'm like, this is actually kind of makes sense. It's very organized. Uh, let's just carry on. Category, but I'm hiding those because obviously, but here I have age, height, how we started talking, um, had first date, when, last communication, current status, college, athlete in college, surfs, hometown, Career, want to see him again. Oh my God. Oh my, this is terrifying, but it's well organized. It's, it's well organized, but it's terrifying. It's like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> Let's just carry on. How many dates total, red flags, um, good things, sign. I did this for every single person who I wow, went on a date with. she's scrolling. With. She's scrolling. I thought that was it. She's scrolling. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, there were a total of um 61 this for me was a total game changer not only did it empower me because i felt like i really had control it really let me break it down who i was seeing when i was seeing them and you know what we really would be talking about over the dates you might think it's excessive and maybe it is but now i'm dating my absolute dream partner and i owe it all to the roster so best of luck silence you fool so in creating that roster she actually found a man through it oh my god men many women are probably doing this men they're categorizing us probably got files and probably entire folders on their computers based on certain men good god and some wonder why modern dating's trash women can say some men and myself are robotic or more sophisticated androids because of the way we think as modern men but the thing is look at the robotic thing some women are doing that's literally like a machine that's machine thinking to find love really <laughs> really oh my god oh i need to process this one and it would still be nowhere near the machine of the modern woman have a nice day <laughs>